Well, almost 30 years after Tupac Shakur's murder stunned the world, the man who is charged with killing him finally faced a judge. Dwayne Keith Davis was arraigned today in Las Vegas. He pled not guilty to murder with the use of a deadly weapon. Prosecutors allege Davis orchestrated Tupac's murder back in 1996. NBC News correspondent Dana Griffin is following this for us from our Los Angeles bureau. Dana, it's good to see you. So walk us through what exactly happened in court today. Yeah, Vicki, good to see you too. So the judge started by asking Dwayne Davis if he had secured proper counsel. And that's part of why we've had now two continued arraignment hearings because you have to have an attorney present for the hearing to continue. He told the judge he did not. So she appointed two special co-public defenders. They ended up having a sidebar with the judge. And then when she returned to addressing the courtroom, she asked the prosecutors if they plan to seek the death penalty in this case. And they said they do not. Dwayne Davis actually spoke out and said, excuse me, what does that mean? And the judge had to explain to him they are not seeking the death penalty in his case. They didn't ask, they, the judge then asked how he plans to plea. He said not guilty. Now, he's now being, he'll be back in court on November 7th for a status hearing. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with now these two co-public defenders, how they plan to present this case and lay out uh, their defense. Right now, investigators have laid out very significant evidence, and a lot of it comes from Dwayne Davis's own personal accounts. He's gone on podcasts. He's written about it in his book, how he had a hand in orchestrating the murder of Tupac Shakur. Investigators say he wasn't the trigger man, but that he helped secure the weapon and that he was the shot caller. And that was information that came out during that grand jury indictment. And that is why he is the sole defendant in this case. The other three men that were in that car the night that Tupac Shakur was shot and killed have all died. And investigators are pointing the blame at him now, and they hope to hold him accountable. Vicki? After all these years, Dana Griffin. Thank you, Dana. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.